Hey guys, before the video starts, I'd like to just ask if you'd go over there and hit the subscribe button. It means a lot. I'm putting out daily content now for you guys. I'd love to do that. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Hello, what is up everyone? And I am back today with another Skyrim video to show you how to make Storm armor in Skyrim. So what you're going to want to do in order to activate the Dragonborn DLC is play just regularly a little bit. And a cultist will eventually walk up to you and give you a letter that will start the Dragonborn DLC. So once you are able to, to be able to travel to Soul's Time... Uh, like I'm doing right here, you'll eventually first go on a boat, but once you get there, you will get uh, off the boat, go straight right here, take an immediate left and go to the blacksmith. There should be a blacksmith around this area. Uh, he will give you a quest. This quest, uh, I would recommend you do, you will get a free ancient Nordic, Nordic pickaxe for it instead of having to buy one or find one, and this is what you'll use to get um, stall room. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is talk to a couple people around there. Once you get the Dragonborn quest, which you actually should already uh, maybe have, you're going to want to go to the Temple of Mirak. Once you, once you get here, you're going to want to talk to this girl. Her name is Freya. Uh, you're uh, going to kill a couple people and go inside uh, this temple. Uh, just go through and complete the temple and complete the quest. Once you get to the end, you'll know because there will be a black book right here. You will open up the book. Your guy will like go into like a crazy trance. And then you will get this cutscene that I'm about to show you. This one right here. This one means that you're uh, almost done with the quest. So once you exit the Temple of Mirak after that, what you're going to want to do is follow Freya to her village. Um, this village is going to be located right here on the map, Skull Village. Just right. follow her, run ahead of her, whatever. Uh, once you get to this village, you're going to want to talk to who I just talked to, that guy that was uh, sitting down. He's going to give you the quest option to go learn this word of power. You're going to want to go learn that word of power. You're going to have to kill a dragon um, on the way as you're about to get there. So you're going to want to, you, you kill the dragon, you get the dragon soul, and then you're going to want to learn this word of power. Now, um, once you actually learn the word of power, you're going to want to go into your shout, and you're going to want to uh, scroll up to the shout and unlock it with the dragon soul you just received. Uh, this is called Bend Will, so you're going to activate that. Um, that shout and you're just going to go where it tells you to go. The, the quest is going to take you to come to this point right here. You're going to activate the shout on this rock. Once you do that, there will be a creature pop up. Uh, I believe it is called a lurker. It's going to be right here. You're going to have to kill this creature. So uh, once you do that shout on the rock, the creature will shut up. You'll kill the creature. You'll go back and complete the quest. Once you've completed that quest, the fate of the skull, um, you're uh, which is the one we just did, you're going to get a new quest, but we're not going to worry about that quest right now. The next thing you want to do is leave Soul's Time. Just come come back to Skyrim anywhere, and then go back again to Soul's Time. This is going to activate uh, the option to do your next quest, which you need to do. So you're going to talk to this woodcutter right here. Once you talk to this woodcutter, he's going to give you uh, this, this this new quest. The, the last quest you need to do is called a new source of storm. So... In this quest, you're going to have to go and find the blacksmith um, for Skull, and once you get here, you're going to kill these Dalmor soldiers, and you're going to pick up a key off of one of them. You're going to use the key on the door and go down inside the basement and talk to the blacksmith. Now, he's going to tell you to go find the map. You're going to go find the map by coming to this point and, and talking to this guy. He's going to get mad at you, and you're going to kill him. And, and take the map and then bring the map back to him in Skull. So basically, just complete the quest, uh, as all you have to do. So once you have completed the quest, you, uh, you talk, after you've talked to him, you go into your blacksmith thing, you can see you now have the option to uh, actually, you know, create storm stuff. Now you do need, I believe, an 80 blacksmithing to do this. Um, but yeah, so once you have the option to create this storm stuff, you are going to want to go to right here on the map to White Ridge Barrow. You are going to, as soon as you spawn facing it, you're going to go to the left and go around the mountain to the left. So you're going to go around it to the left and up north. So basically right above that point and you're going to be where you're going to basically mine and farm your, your stall room ore. Um, I'll show you on the map here in just a second. Right there is where that location is at, the stall room source. So you just want to want to hop down here and use your ancient Nordic pickaxe to basically mine all the deposits right here. There are 10 total deposits. You will get 10, uh, 30 total storm from this uh, area right here. You get all your storm. As you can see, I now have 33 because I bought some from him. Uh, you, you can just create your storm armor, uh, creating you know all the stuff that you want, your boots, your, your heavy armor, light armor. 
um, bow, sword, you know, anything you want. So, I mean, this is really uh, awesome, extremely awesome armor, actually. It looks pretty sweet. Um, you can also, uh, I believe I am using, uh, I'm wearing stuff right now that's increasing my stats for my armor ratings and stuff like that. So once I improve all my stuff, I'm getting higher, uh, a little higher ratings out of it. So, uh, as you can see, I'm just doing that with my armor. I'm about to do that with my weapons. And, um, yeah, so that's how you make star arm armor. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome looking. I'll show you how it looks like, uh, right here. Um, so yeah, you guys enjoy, throw a like on this, subscribe, and check out all my other Skyrim videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.